Marco, turn around. Yay, Marco, wave. Hey guys, it's been a while. My name is Kim and welcome back to Marco House TV. It's been about nine months-ish, so I'm gonna quickly update you all on what I've been up to. I've had a crazy spring to summer to almost fall season. Um, it started off with me taking my mom's African Grey. My mom was going on vacation in Vietnam, so someone had to take her bird and someone also had to water her plants. She literally named it Bird, but I felt weird calling it Bird and then I have a Mako, so I just named it Bigger Bird, Big Bird, because it's literally bigger than Mako, so that's where her name Big Bird comes from. My mom went on vacation in Vietnam for about four months, which meant I had to commute back and forth to her place once a week to water her plants. Now going back and forth to my mom's place was not an easy commute. I'd leave on a Thursday evening, ride a bus for two and a half hours, water plants for two and a half hours. Actually, it, the first go at it took me about five hours. My mom has tons of plants. I would go to sleep, wake up at six, and commute back to Toronto just in time to start work. My regular day job. I thought about hiring someone, but the plants are just way too finicky and my mom's so strict about her plants, so we'd rather not. <laughs> so all the while, I still had a lot of conventions. Um, between March to September, I had done a total of nine conventions. I somehow managed to squeeze in a short trip to Japan in April, um, after just like right after finishing EGLX and Toronto Comic Con back to back, and then came back to prepare for Zine Land and then Anime North. Then, I think I had a little bit of a small break in there because I had to prepare for my next set of cons, which was in August, I had done three. Annie Revo in Vancouver, Liberty City in New York, and then Fan Expo in Toronto. And these were all three day, three to four day cons. And I just feel tired thinking about it. Like, it was a great experience. Like, I got to eat some great food. But, yeah, it was very tiring. So, my responsibilities at my day job were also increasing. I was promoted from artist to senior artist for a while. But we had taken an, on a new game during the winter time, and um, they wanted to ramp it up and launch the game in September as well. Uh, actually, they were planning for August, but we had time to polish the game, which I think we did launch pretty successfully. It was a trivia game called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And I know it's wildly different from what I normally make in terms of art, um, you guys all know me as a watercolor artist, and this is completely and purely digital art. It's a different challenge, and it keeps me on my toes when I switch back and forth. As well as doing all of this, <laughs> to me, all of this does sound like a lot of work. I still made a lot of artwork as well, which I'm happy I was able to squeeze it in there between commuting back and forth and working and doing conventions and all that. I made new paintings, I made some new merchandise, like sketchbooks, comics, and some people ask me why and how I work so hard, but I don't really feel like I'm working hard enough at all. And I, I'm not trying to brag, but I grew up working really hard as a kid. So like me now, I feel like I've actually been quite lazy, to be honest. I think working hard is a lot about perspective, right? Um, my favorite motto is to work hard, play hard, and then rest hard. And resting hard is so important. Um, you just have to shut everything down for a little while. Um, anyway, I also started properly working on my comic, Mume. It's a love story about a rock. That's my favorite way to pitch it, but it's a lot more anime than you'd think. If you have a spare minute, please feel free to take a quick read of the first two very short chapters on Webtoon. The link is below, and if you like it enough, you can purchase it from my online shop at makohouse.ca. Yay, and plug. Uh, the first two chapters are totally written by me, and the core story and creation was something I made spontaneously on a trip to Hong Kong. Now, it was just like a bunch of little scrap together ideas, but I had like a basic three page script of like their whole story. And then I just started developing the characters and world after that. And I still am, it's not complete. It's still just an ongoing process at the moment. After that, I just started rewriting it many, many times to make it better. I got really stuck and I couldn't contain all the plot points in my mind. So I enlisted the help of my friend Julian to do the writing. So now it's a collaboration between myself and my friend Julian. Hopefully I can 
not drown myself in too much of my other work that I can actually finish at least the act one for TCAF next year and I really hope I get in. I, I did apply this year so let's see how that turns out. So speaking of next year, I definitely plan to cull back on my list of cons and events. I found that I just didn't have enough artwork this year. Like, I, I had made so many paintings in 2017 before I even got to Anime North, before I even got to my first convention, that now I'm kind of sad that I don't really have that much this year. There's a lot of reasons why as to why I didn't make enough art this year. I am spending a little bit longer time on making a piece. I am mulling over the details a lot more, like trying to constantly increase the quality of my work. Um, and I also was, you know, really busy and trying to focus on too many different things. So I think I need to call back some things so that I can do better next year. But I really feel like I keep adding to my to-do list. There's just so much that I want to do. Like I have collabs that I really want to work on with some friends and I have so many things I still need to do. And I really love being busy, I guess. I just, you know, love to punish myself. I, I'm super grateful to my boyfriend, Al, for putting up with me this whole year, taking care of home things while I was off doing my thing and making a big mess of our home with all my merchandise. I'm so sorry. And I probably also wouldn't be so mentally sound if I didn't have so many awesome friends that I had made. I guess just like by doing art and showing your work, being candid and friendly and being nice to people. I've just made so many nice friends this year. Like having great friends really helps me in being able to do what I am able to do now. Regretfully, I haven't been able to do as much yoga as I normally do, but I'm gonna get back into the swing of things and focus on my self-health a lot this year as well. Or from now until, you know, until the future. Anyways, um, that was a pretty long update. Thanks so much for your patience and thank you to all of my new subscribers. I The last time I checked my subscriber count, it was like 300 and now it's doubled and I'm very impressed with myself. And thank you so much to you guys for joining me on this journey. Um, I still don't know how often I can upload a video considering my schedule. So I hope you don't mind if I upload a few videos without me talking. Um, just like some of my older videos where it's just the music playing over it. Um, editing audio is quite time consuming, so, and I have so many videos that I want to share. I've recorded almost all of the paintings that I've done. I really hope that you'll like those. And thanks again and see you soon. Wishing you peace, love, joy, and happiness.